Andy Petrie. Um, when you got your catalog and your little flyer that I've given you, you get a little prize drink slip. I didn't have you fill it in earlier because I want you to kind of get to know me before I just say, oh, do you want to host a show or something? So hopefully now at the end of the show, you see that I, I am not pushy. I don't force you to buy anything. I want you to buy it and need it and enjoy it, but I'm not here to like hook myself to your bumper. Yeah, you can live with you. <laughs> I, mean, I, I won't be following you. Uh, so on the prize drink slip, if you could take a minute, this is how I serve you beyond tonight. So I, if you put your name, number, I do keep these if you have something on there that you would like me to follow up with. So on it, I mean, I really need your telephone number because I sometimes transpose a wrong credit card number or something. Um, and I also need an email. The email is tied through your account with the Pampered Chef now. So if I don't have your receipt, I always have your receipts, but in case I'm not around, whatever, then you can call the home office and they know everything you've bought from your email address. So that ties your account into your own. Um, but on the back, just after a couple minutes, they'd also ask you if you want to host a show. I would love to come and do a show. Um, it also asks if you'd like some information about what I do and even a wish list. So. This is, again, how I serve you beyond tonight. So um, I want you to just take a second and turn it over, and I just want to ask you four little quick questions. So um, on the back, can you just write down two things that you liked about today's show and two things that you might have learned, even just if it's one thing, um, just what you thought was interesting and what you learned, okay? And then the next thing I'd like you to do is just, um, I would love to personally have you, if you could not get everything you wanted tonight, which most people can't get everything they want tonight. So if you put down a couple items that you just really wish you could get, that helps me down the road if it comes on sale, call you when there's a special for the host bonus. I mean, it lets me serve you again beyond tonight. So if you can list a couple things that you just cannot get tonight, but you would like in the future, write those down. I can create like a low wish list for you. Um, the third thing, I just want you to write $400 down. Just $400. And that is like just the average of if you did one show a week for a month, you would take home an extra $400. $400, and it could be way more than that. I average $150 to $200 every time I do a show. So, I mean, it doesn't, it's 100 is average, average. Um, but that gets you to make a car payment that can help towards your mortgage, that can pay for groceries. And a lot of people actually can go bankrupt with three, because of $300 a month. So this can keep somebody out of like losing their home, just making that three, $400 and working one night a week instead of going out to like a Kohl's and they're gonna tell you when to work. So you choose when you wanna work. And obviously, if you do more shows a week, you make more money. And then my last number four question is, um, I would like you to just ask me any question about my business that you would like to know about. And I honestly can tell you to be nosy. You can ask me anything. It's okay. It's money's, you know, anything is on the table. So feel free to ask me that. And then once they've filled this out, then I would actually just ask a couple people to tell me what they learned, what they liked, if they would do some feedback, and then what items would you want, and then I would maybe tie into what the whole special would be coming up. And then the questions obviously about recruiting, um, you know, then you know you can talk to them later. Now the girl who created this on our uh, leadership call, who, who could we give credit to? Who was that? Nicole Harris. Nicole Harris. Harris, she was awesome. Um, I just thought this was a great new way to get some more information out of them. She does not even look at this at her closings. She doesn't take this out and say, oh, I see you uh, want a show or something. She says she asks everybody if they'd like to host a show or recruit and then looks at this when she goes home and follows up. So she makes sure she asks everybody, not just the ones who did it. So, okay. Thank you very much.